By this time tomorrow, we'll know whether Austin's own Formula One racetrack will sink or swim. The Formula One boss, Bernie Ecclestone, has given local promoters a November 30th deadline. That's tomorrow to get the financials figured out. And if the deal goes belly up, it'll affect a lot more people than you might think. KXAN's Reagan Hackleman joins us live to explain. Reagan. Well, Robert and Leslie, if you take a look behind me, you'll see the proposed F1 site. I should say not the proposed, the site where they're still kind of building this. There are some trucks over there right now that are taking away some dirt. Now, construction officially stopped two weeks ago when it was announced that F1 was coming to town. Many local entrepreneurs saw a potential to make some money, but now that it looks like F1 will not be coming to town, some of those businesses want their day in court. Warren Peck is a huge racing fan and was excited about F1 coming to Austin. I was really looking forward to it being here in Austin. I was looking forward to what it was going to do for Austin. He was also excited about what an F1 race in Austin could do for his part-time business, Races to You, a portable slot car racing track. Oh, it was going to be nothing but positive. Having Formula One come here was going to be tremendous impetus for me to do more Formula One parties, for me to set up a, a miniature Austin track. But now that it looks like Austin's Formula One race won't be getting a green flag? My business will suffer, and a lot of my friends and colleagues' businesses are going to suffer. That's why Warren and two dozen other businesses that were counting on a Formula One race now say they're going to file a class action lawsuit if it falls through. I don't know that there's any one particular party to blame. I think that there's been errors made on, on all sides, misjudgments on all sides. Uh, as in any good lawsuit, you go after the deep pockets. The man with the deepest pockets, F1 boss Bernie Ecclestone. He's all but put a nail in Austin's Formula One coffin when he gave local race organizers until Wednesday to come up with a reported $300 million in sanctioning fees. We all want to see Formula One here in Austin. Uh, this is really to give impetus to the players involved to, to hopefully go beyond their egos and, and the economics and realize that there's something much larger at stake. Now, as soon as we know any decision tomorrow, we will be sure to put it on our website. That's KXAN.com. Reporting live from just outside of Elroy, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.